a lot of shuffling. Having fun yet? Go, Gertie, go! Whoop, whoop. Rolling dust. Get it, girl. Corn crib, literally y'all, it's, it's just gonna be a corn crib. Nothing too exciting. <laughs> you think the wheels might even go in there, which would be great, then we can get it way back. I think it's gonna fit. Maybe? No. We're going inside. I think so. I think, yeah, you can go over like an inch and it'll fit. It's a tight fit, but it worked. Yeah. All right, we got that in as far as we can go to be able to hook up the tractor out here to the auger. So what we're doing is a whole lot of shuffling right now. We have corn, we have about a tractor trailer load of corn left that needs to come out of the trucks and bins that it's in and hopefully fit in this container. Um, so we'll have room and somewhere to store the barley once we get it cut, which it's past due and now we're ready to do that. Um, anywho, we have a grain bin that we bought that we have to get taken down and brought here, but we can't, we can't get that done right now. So we're hoping we can get all the corn moved and have enough room here on the farm for the barley without having to take it somewhere else. We have that option, but we don't want to. So, just, it's a lot of shuffling. It's a lot of shuffling. This dump truck and the silage truck behind it are both full of corn. We have a bin full of corn. I think we have another, yeah, we have another wagon, dump wagon thing full of corn. <laughs> so that's what we've got to try to get in here. Oh, I think it's gonna be quite a process. Truck number two. Take number The vents are gonna work really good. He checked it this morning and there was no sweating in the container. Here's hoping it stays that way. He's gonna work on that. I gotta go take care of some trophus work. I gotta do a little interview for a write-up and uh, then I'll be back to help. Uh, one problem is the corn is gonna need to be pushed up in the container uh, we can get the little tractor up in there, the little John Deere, but um, it's going to mean taking all that stuff out. So we said I could just get up in there and do it with a shovel. I don't think so. Well, an hour later and he's still going. It's got to be almost done. Hey, Bonnie. Did you find your way up here?
fun yet? <laughs> Almost there. That's pretty good, buddy. Oh, don't get it all. <laughs> Say you got it, buddy. <laughs> Oh, you saw his hand on it. Well, he startled me. Okay, here we go again. Okay, we had to rig this. We had to put cinder blocks in the seat so it will not cut off when we turn the auger on. trucks are unloaded. He's not going to unload the other wagon yet. Um, I'm following him to the field. So we're dropping off trucks, taking trucks to the field to be able to do barley in a little bit. Well, this is a field of barley that actually still looks pretty good. It didn't get all toppled over by the rain. This is not on our farm. This is a neighbor's farm that lets us use. Let, it's letting us use this piece of land for this. So, this is what we're doing first. Like I say, it's not perfect. <laughs> it's not great. In fact, what you see out there that's really tall, that's not even the barley. The barley's the short stuff. That is, that is something else. And at this moment, I can't remember what, but I will tell you shortly. Hey. Tell me again what the tall stuff is. Rye. Rye. I almost said oats. It's rye. Yeah. So we have a good crop of rye and a decent crop of barley. Maybe. Hopefully we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see. Yeah, I got that truck so high. I got to get in that gully there. Okay. Aaron's a run. Groceries are put away. Now I'm going to check on Lawrence and Gertie. Send him a text, asked if he needed estimate. Take two. I sent him a text and asked, asked is such a hard word to say. Ask a asked. I asked him. <laughs> oh, I struggle. I asked him if he needed anything and he said he didn't and that things were going good. So We'll just hope that remains the case for the rest of the day. Hmm, feels like I hit something. What did I hit? A rock? Is that a rock? Is that a rock? It almost looks like a turtle. Not a turtle, a rock that somewhat resembled a turtle. So. I don't think I could have stood it if I'd run over a turtle. And I see some barley down. Barley and rye, that is. And quite a bit more to go. What a beautiful day, even if it's hot as blue blazes. I spy Gertie and barley dust.
Hello, Barley. Till he comes around again and then wipe the windows again. What a mess. What a mess. We need more rags. All we have is that one very dirty rag. Whoops. Uh, Birdie just got stopped up. So I had to get in there and unstop her. I'm tired. Woo! Let's hope she goes now. And he's full. And he's heading back to get the next truck. So I'm gonna follow. <laughs> One down. Not too many hiccups. <laughs> There's not another full truck, is there? You think? Alrighty. Okay, while he heads out, I'm going to the house to get him a little snack. He asked for a snack. 5.30. So it's actually almost supper time, but I think supper is going to be a little late tonight. <laughs> and he's going. And we have snacks. And he's probably going to wait. 
I'll wait till he unloads. Okay, snacks have been delivered and the window's been cleaned. <laughs> and uh Oh wow, I give up. I give up. It's a nice look, huh? Wow. Wow. Man, that's a wrap. I didn't even know he was done, but he's done. Evidently. And that was a tight squeeze for Gertie. She made it. <laughs> Done for the day. One field down. One ugly field to come. <laughs> How you feel about today? Need to break down. Yeah. So far. <laughs> yeah. The good field is done. The good field. All the truck shuffling. All right. She's going to take that back. And then, uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly what we're going to do because we're going to need those two trucks tomorrow to do the other field even though we don't know how much it'll be um so we got to do something with that barley and it, it's probably going to mean taking it to somebody else's place which he really didn't want to have to do just because it's more work but you gotta do what you gotta do hmm Oh, wow. Whatever. There's no fix in this dust today. <laughs> Not until I get a shower. Building a wall. Yeah, hold it up for me. Come on, Bonnie. We've been called to action. Someone needs eyes to see how to back up. So, we woke up this morning to a little shower. Didn't know it was going to rain today. It's completely cloudy. All we thought there was going to be was a chance of storms this afternoon. <laughs> Wait, I see a little clip of sun. Anyway, so not sure we're going to be able to cut any more barley today or not. So I think he's, um, we made that little wall in the container for the corn and I think maybe he's shuffling some more corn or barley around. I'm about to find out. I've been at home doing work. Uh, because he didn't need me. But now he does. So here I is. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Okay. May not get perfect. What does he need to do? Uh, you need to go this way a little bit to be in the middle. This is a long, long thing here. So yeah, this is completely full of corn. So it's going in here right now. Hold on. That's good. Straight back. We want to line that up with that. A little bit more. Ho, ho. There. That should be perfect. Should be. I think it is anyway. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Is it just right? Pretty close. Okay. I'll take that. Whoop, whoop. Oh. Got to put this back in the seat. Our, uh driverless driver <laughs> oh no
Okay, well, that PTO shaft is a pain in the booty. Uh, so we're going to get, I'm going to get some oil. We're going to get some oil. And <laughs> he's strapping down that seat. We used cinder blocks the other day. He's going to strap it this time to keep it down so it doesn't cut off. What else? There's two things he told me to get oil and I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll think of it. Oil. Not this is a crawl oil he said to get the other one. So that's this one. And the grease gun, that was it. Grease gun. Grease gun. Where's the grease gun? We actually have a new grease gun that I'll show y'all, but that's not the one we're using right now. But I can't find the old one. Fiddle sticks. Where you hiding? There you are. Got it. Yeah, and it's starting to rain. And he was hoping it was not going to do that with corn right here. I uh, hope it blows right over. Okay, now we're going back to get his truck that has jumper cables in it. I didn't ask why we need the jumper cables. He's, uh... He's not happy about this rain. Oh, this day. It wasn't not supposed to do this, but you know, it happens. If the Chevy's knocking, it must be rolling. I forgot, for the bill to dump this wagon it has to have jumper cables. Unloading. I'm gonna go make lunches and uh, then we're gonna go grind. We're gonna go grind a load of barley, uh, barley, corn, barley and corn, I think, anyway, so we can make some more room. Just trying to figure out if we can shuffle things around so we don't have to take any barley off the farm. If and when we can get in there and cut the rest of it. Oh, busy day. Come on. Oh, Bonnie. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. Bonnie.
ain't so excited. Let's go somewhere, Mom. Okay. First gear. I think I found purse. We'll find out, won't we? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Hoping the storms hold off. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. Anyway. <sighs> okay, well that did not take him nearly as long as I thought it was going to. So, I'm heading to pick him up from the field. He's taking the empty truck to the next barley field. This is the field that does not look good. <laughs> does not look good. A lot of it's down, I believe. So anyway, we'll just see. We'll see what Gertie can do. 